Ming from the top of the lane. He can make that shot. This one caroms off, and here's Bryant in transition. That time, Bryant got hung up. Back to back to back to back. Los Angeles leading 10 to 2 here. The Rockets uh, slow out of the gate offensively. McGrady doing it himself that time. He's really hard to guard at that elbow at 17 feet where he can jab step. That become inflammatory or are perceived to be inflammatory. But that wasn't inflammatory. And again, all the media want is they want him or all coaches to be available, be accessible, fill up their notebooks, and yet the moment there's even a hint of controversy, they pounce on it and blow it up. And this is a case that something so minute was blown out of proportion. I don't see how anyone was offended by something like that. Well, here today in Houston, it was basically a... <laughs> not sure that he was on the front page of the scouting report, but he should be now. Here's McGrady from downtown. Tracy McGrady shooting 33% from downtown coming into this game, and uh, he can detonate at any moment. And if you put him in a pick and roll, side or... Brady working against Walton. Scola is going to have to start making those, Jeff, because he's being left wide open. Well, again, when the Brady penetrates and draws the second defender, the thing to blow this one open a little bit, they lead by 17 points. Great multiple passes by L.A., tremendously unselfish. Brady tries to get three back, which he does. But Los Angeles is shooting over 50% from the field. And the Rockets are got to just keep hanging in there, hanging in there. Try to finish this last minute well, get it to 10 or under. The Rockets came into this game with the better record of the two teams at 6-2. and two, As compared to the 3-3 three and three mark by the Lakers, that foul against Kwame Brown. That's his second personal foul. And McGrady took a shot as Bryant tried to strip that ball. They might have to take their 20 right here. And Keith Jones, the athletic trainer and the vice president of operations with the Rockets looking over the star Houston Rocket. Back with more after this. Keith Jones, the trainer, and there's a look at where he was shaken up. Tracy played in most of the games last year. That back has been a bit of concern for him in the past. This time, though, seemingly holding one of his arms. It seems like it might have just hit the funny bone where it, it deadened a little bit, but yeah, Tracy had a remarkable year last year when Yao was out for 32 games. He just carried the team, and he looks to be setting up to shoot these lefty. That's exactly what he's going to do. And I'll tell you, I've seen him shoot lefty before, and he can shoot it from three. He's just got, you know, the guy's a freak <laughs> athletically. Uh, and he can make three-pointers shooting it. I've never seen him have to do it in a game. That one not quite as accurate as the first one. And McGrady now will come out of the ball game and they'll take a closer look at him. Mike James comes in, but he is favoring that right arm. We're going to get an early start on heading into the locker room here as we approach halftime with 50 seconds to go. Mark, I've seen that walk too many times for my own health right there. That's, yeah. that's not, I've never liked that.